Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study decimals in measuring units, especially in metric measuring units. And I assume you are already very familiar with these facts here, with this fact here, that one meter is 100 centimeters, or that one kilometer is 1000 meters. But now we're going to look at decimals with these. If one meter is 100 centimeters, then we can think of a tenth of a meter and hundredth of a meter. Obviously, one hundredth part of a meter would be just one centimeter, right? This one here. And then one tenth part of a meter would be 10 centimeters. It's as simple as that. Or here, if one kilometer is 1,000 meters, then here's a thousandth part of a kilometer. So that would be just one meter. And then we can look at the tenth part of a kilometer, that would be 100 meters, because we can take 1000 meters divided by 10 to get the tenth part. And then 100th part of a kilometer would be 10 meters. So let's do these conversion problems thinking in those terms. Here I have 7 tenths of a meter. Don't think of it as 0 0.7 meters, but first think of it as 7 tenths of a meter. One tenth of a meter is ten centimeters. Seven tenths of a meter is seventy centimeters. Here we have three point five meters. Okay, three meters makes three hundred centimeters, and then this point five would be of course half of a meter or five tenths. That would be fifty centimeters. So in total three hundred and fifty. Eight point two seven meters. Okay. Now, we can think of it as 27 hundredths of a meter, okay? One hundredth of a meter is one centimeter, so 27 hundredths of a meter is 27 centimeters. And then these eight whole meters will be the 800 centimeters, 827. Of course, essentially, these problems are just problems of moving the decimal point, you know? But you can reason it out using thinking of tenths and hundredths of a meter. On this side, two tenths of a kilometer. Okay, if one tenth of a kilometer is 100 meters, then two tenths of a kilometer is 200 meters, of course. Now here I have 65 hundredths of a kilometer. Okay? And if a hundredth part is 10 meters, then 65 hundredths, hundredth parts of a kilometer would be 65 times that. But you can also think of it this way, six tenths of a kilometer here and five hundredths of a kilometer. Six tenths of a kilometer would be 600 meters and then you have from here 50 meters. 650 meters. Or here, 271 thousandth parts of a kilometer. If one thousandth part is one meter then of course these are just 271 meters. Let's go on here. 72 centimeters in meters. Okay, one centimeter is a hundredth part. So this is 72 hundredth parts, or 72 hundredths of a meter. Just write the decimal 72 hundredths. And here 40 centimeters is 40 hundredths of a meter. Okay, and here 258 centimeters. Here we have more than a meter because these 200 centimeters makes two meters. And then these digits follow the decimal point, but it also makes the sense because 58 centimeters is 58 hundredths of a meter. Here, 1,300 meters. Okay, that's more than one kilometer, right? Because the 1,000 makes one. And then you have your point, and then the rest of the digits follow, so that's easy. 650 meters will be less than a kilometer. Zero point something, right? Now, 600 meters... 600 meters would be exactly 6 tenths of a meter, okay? So the 6 must go to the tenths place and then the rest of it follows. 8,282 meters, okay, 8,000 meters is whole 8 kilometers. And then the rest of it follows, so that's pretty easy. But it also makes sense because 282 meters, each individual meter is a thousandth part, so these make 282 thousandths of a kilometer. The same thing works with liters and kilograms, okay? 
because one liter is thousand milliliters. So if I fill this in, I get here ten milliliters and here one milliliter. Over here, one kilogram is thousand grams, so I can look at the tenth part of a kilogram, hundredth part of a kilogram, or thousandth part of a kilogram, which would be then one gram. Okay, we'll just look at just a few of these. Six tenths of a liter. Well, if one tenth of a liter is this much, then six tenths of a liter is 600 milliliters. Here, I have 72 hundredth parts of a liter. Okay, but actually the easiest way to solve this is that, you know, two liters is 2,000 milliliters. So you will have 2,000 like this. And the, these 7 and 2 must follow right there. And then put the 0. Here also 5.06 kilograms. Since 5 kilograms is exactly 5,000, you have to have something like this. 5,000 grams. And so this 0 and 6 just follow over here. And then you have to put one more zero there to fill it in. And 230 grams is not quite a kilogram. It's less than a kilogram, right? I will have zero point something. Now 200 grams would be exactly tenth, two tenths of a kilogram, right? 200 grams is two tenths of a kilogram. So this two must go to the tenths place. And so this three and zero follow. Lastly, real quick, we'll look a little bit at miles and decimals, miles and feet. One mile is known to be 5,280 feet. What about tenth part of a mile? Look at this number. Divide it into ten parts. Divide it by ten, we get 528 feet. And now we can solve some, some of these type of problems. Matthew, what is it tickling me? Oh, he hasn't gotten to say anything in this video. Well, say something now. Okay, yeah. He said he likes to jog 0 0.8 miles. Okay, so how many feet is it? Matthew is asking. That's exactly what I had here, right? Okay. Now, since I know what one tenth of a mile is, it's asking for eight tenths of a mile, then I can just multiply that number by 8. Wouldn't that work? 528 is one tenth of a mile, and that times 8. So we get 64, plus 16 plus 6, 22, and 42. Okay, it is 4,224 feet. I want to show you the way that most people would use when multiplying this type of a problem. Most people would actually multiply 0 0.8 times this number here. So it would look like this. Okay. That's how we can find how many feet it will be. 0 0.8 times the whole mile. Okay. But when you multiply here, there's a 0 here that won't affect a thing. You, you end up doing the exact same calculations as here. See, 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 8, 64. Then 16 plus 6 is 22. And then 42. And then you need to put the decimal point in your answer because there's a one, one decimal digit here, so that makes one decimal digit in the answer. You get the same answer, okay? About 2.7 miles. How many feet is it going to be? If we use this idea, we will multiply 2.7 times one mile in feet, one mile in feet, which is this number. Okay, let's try that. Seven times zero, seven times eight, then 14 plus five, and then 36 here. And then two times zero, two times eight, 16, two times two, that's five, and two times five, 10, and the addition. And now we put the decimal point in the answer over here. There's tenths here times a whole number, so tenths here too. 14,256 feet. Okay, and we're all done.